Well, uh, the next one that I got comes from, you know, my favorite sport, the NHL. Good old NHL. In um, 2001, September 2001, the captain of the Montreal Canadiens, Saku Koivu, he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't know why, I never heard of it, heard of it before. Heard of what? Sai, Saku Koivu? S- Saku Koivu. Oh, Sai, Saku Koivu. Mm-hmm. Where, where's that name from? Do you know? Uh, I guess... Don't... Don't quote me on this, but I would venture to say he's somewhere in the Russian bloc. Okay, I, I was thinking... Possibly I was thinking. even Czechoslovakia. Okay. Maybe. Like I said, don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but... I got you. Either way, he was diagnosed, and I, I believe it was in September of 2001. So, this was probably either during training camp preseason or right at the beginning of the season. So he set out the entire, you know, uh, regular season, it, you know, until the third from the last game where he came back, played at the, I, I don't think it was the Bell Center, I think it might have been the Rogers Arena at that point in time in Montreal, came back to an eight-minute standing ovation from the fans. All right. You know, obviously there were treatments and everything that went in, you know, and this is probably like a, I want to say like a seven month period after he was diagnosed. Mm-hmm. That, that, you know, he, he came back. Eight minutes standing ovation from the fans, like they would not sit down. Right. And I mean, think about that, that's your team captain, you know, he he's, he's the guy in Montreal. You know, leader of the team, everything. So, they, first of all, could you imagine getting an eight-minute standing ovation from twenty-five thousand people? I mean, I would, I would imagine if it's eight minutes, you kind of lose track of time, somewhere in there. Um, I mean, if it was me, it would be very. I'm sure it was very emotionally moving to him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I couldn't imagine anything, it being anything else, but right. I mean, the only other place I hear about. Eight to ten minute standing ovations is in like North Korea, where if you sit down and you stop clapping, you get shot. <laughs> but that's a whole different situation. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little <laughs> bit different circumstances there. But, uh. But just, just to round off, you know, and, and finish out that story, um. They, they, they wound up becoming. The eighth seed in the playoffs, and in the first round, they went off, went out and knocked off the number one seed, Boston Bruins, at that point in time, okay. in the 2002 uh, playoff year. They did, however, lose in the next round. So it wasn't like a like miracle moment. but So I, I wouldn't expect him probably to be the MVP of, of those games or anything like that, coming back, coming back from something like that, but... Do you, you know how I, he did yeah, the games? I, 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 I don't know what... Um, I, I do believe he... he well, actually, no. That, would, that was... But that was, I, I, I think that there's a lot to say about an inspiring presence. Yeah. And yeah. making moments special. That's right. That's right. trying hard. That's what I'm saying. I, I think... I could be wrong, but I think they needed to win two of the three final games after he come back to make the playoffs. Right. Okay. Don't, don't quote me on that. But I was just more or less impressed about the eight-minute standing ovation. I mean, on top of that, I mean, the guy beat cancer, basically. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. The, the only comparable thing, I, there, I do know in the NFL, there was a guy, Eric Berry. Uh, he was a safety for the Kansas City Chiefs, and I, I do he was one of the best safeties in the league. Uh, I remember, because um, as a Browns fan, that, that is the guy. I don't remember who they replaced, uh, drafted, um, rather than Eric Berry. Um, it definitely was another safety, but I wanted them that year to draft to, to get that guy, Eric Berry. Um, Eric Berry did come down with uh, cancer, probably like four or five years into his career, mm. um, and he did come back. Uh, I think he came back like maybe about a year and a half 
later or something like that. Did you did you notice a performance? Um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the well, same. Wasn't the same. He definitely wasn't the same player coming back, but he he still what he wasn't like. He wasn't terrible. He was average. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, I think he was out of the league maybe like a couple of years after that, but it's definitely still a, a, like an inspiring. Inspiring thing to have somebody come back from uh, something, such a, such something a serious, that could just you know yeah. rock your your entire life or end your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's that's another way to look at which, it too. Which uh, for there, for example, there's a, there's a little sneak peek into the future is that uh, uh, I will be working on how close are we to curing cancer? Um, Ooh, a tease and. Um, it's a very complicated answer. Um, it, it definitely uh, there is some forms that are already being cured, uh, n- not being cured, but being treated. Um, um, in some instances, curing and eradicating cancer from the body. Mm, okay. But but you're always more prone to to get to, uh, what is the word when it comes back. Um, Oh man! Oh, well, I'm blanking well, on that right you now. Know, you know what I mean, but it, it's always it's more common for it to come back into you um, than have it appear in, uh, like a completely new person. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean that's fair. Um, was, it was Eric Berry actually on your list, or did um, you no. just think about that? No, I just think about that. I didn't even make a list. I'm just coming oh, up okay. with these while well, I, I mean, I mean. Do you, <laughs> You got another one? Um, I mean, we can talk about um, the the ACL injuries. So many players, like back back in the probably probably even like fifteen twenty years ago, there's been just they they've been career ending injuries. You know what I mean? Some somebody gets hurt um, with ACL injury, ACL tear. Um, they're no, they would never be coming back. Uh, then you have examples like, um, I mean, there's so many in the NFL. Uh, for one, you can put out Odell Beckham. He's had mm-hmm. ACL tears in both of his both of his calves, and every, every time he comes back, maybe like a year a uh, year later, and it seems like the same way with all these all these players, is that these words, devastating career-ending injuries, maybe like ten ten years ago, and now you have players. Stepping right back, like taking the year off, stepping right back in, um, losing maybe like a small step. Yeah. But but not a not a major, not it's it's not a major uh, factor in how fast they can run or. Well, how a lot of that can... though is a testament to you know modern medicine and how much better they are at fixing these particular, you know. I mean that's that's Injuries. that's with all of all of these cases is is modern. I mean even even Tiger Woods he might not like ten fifteen years ago he might have been walking around on crutches with one leg or or a false leg or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean I, I mean from what I understand, what I researched, there were serious discussions as to whether or not they were going to amputate his leg. Right. Which I mean. Right. That's, it, and the same, it's kind of the same way with the I, I also players. heard that he laid in a hospital bed and did not get up for three months. Lay, could you imagine that? Laying in a hospital bed for three months straight, not even getting up to go to the bathroom. Well, I'll say something about the kind of money that a person like Tiger Woods makes is that this hospital bed was probably more of a luxury... Something that, that was extremely comfortable, and it was <laughs> he had everything yeah, that he could know. possibly need at any time. Yeah, well, I mean, he he was in an actual hospital, too. Right. I mean, one one like he was in a hospital bed at his house. Well, if I'm going to be here, you might as well make this place That's look true. like oh, let's 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 turn this gold. Let's turn like I want that door to be solid gold. Just put in a solid door, gold door in there. I, I don't. I don't think he was putting gold doors in the hospital. <laughs> 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 